Okay, let's now look at the free body diagram on the board. We want to consider this very one on the board, free body diagram. And uh, we want to look at the formula for torque. We want to look at the formula for torque. Now, let me uh, apply a force to this very body. Let me apply a force. If I apply a force, it means that this body will move down. If I apply a force, that means I push this body to move down. And this force is F. Okay, if you cover a distance, you will cover a distance, and it will take this is the point of rotation, the axis of rotation, this very part here is the axis of rotation, this is the pivot point, this one is the pivot point, this is where you have the axis of rotation, this point here, axis of rotation, take note, this is the axis of rotation, this very point here. Okay, if you cover a distance D, you will cover a distance D, okay, distance D. We are going to have a distance D, okay? That is the distance to cover as it uh, rotates at this point here. Okay, now, what is now the formula for torque? It's simply the product of force and distance. And uh, the unit for uh, torque is simply Newton meter. You take note, for F is Newton, for F is Newton, while distance is meter. Therefore, we cannot see that torque has uh, this unit, which is a uh, Newton meter. And also, for torque, there is a dimension for torque, there is a dimension for torque, dimension for torque, and dimension is simply uh, M, M, uh, M, L, or 2, T, or minus 2. This is the dimension for torque. If you take root, this one is the dimension, that's why it's weight. Okay, you can see the uh, approach I apply here is applying this force. You can see the way I apply it. The way I apply it. Now, that one will become the formula. Talk. Okay, let me say in this way. If the force is applied at an angle theta, what will happen? If this force is applied at an angle theta, what will happen to this very one? What, what will happen to this very one? Let us see what will happen if we decide to apply the force at an angle theta. Okay, let me now apply the force at an angle theta. Let me now see what will happen to this formula. That formula will change. I want to apply the force, this force, at an angle theta. What will happen is you can see the way I apply the force downward. Okay, it means that at this point I will have an angle theta, and here will be uh, S, and here will be Y. Okay, this one, okay, this one will be Y, and this one will be X. Here yeah, will be X. Take note. Now you mean that for this one, this is the F now, this is the F. You mean that you have the effect here, the F uh, cos theta, and this one will be F, F sine theta. F sine theta. Okay, now what will happen? Remember, I told you that as you apply it, if you cover a distance, it will move a distance, and that distance will be D. Remember, we, uh, we did it before, look at it here, D. Distance D at this point here, distance D at this point. Okay, let us see again. Let us see again. Let us see again. Now, with, with what we have just uh, obtained here, we cannot determine the formula. Remember, I told that the formula is simply force times uh, distance. Okay, let us see what will happen to this one. Huh? If this one I'm not moving now, this is the force we are not using now, because we have to use this very one. At this one I'm moving now, it means this is the axis of rotation. This is the axis of rotation. Okay, it means that this very force here, uh, we have to turn, meaning we turn this body and it will take at this point here. And if we cover the distance, it will come what? The force there, now if I use F times distance, it means that the force there is now F sine theta times distance. Okay, this is what we now have there now, Lt. It means that Lt is now what? Fd sine Theta. Okay, it means that this is the formula we use when we are dealing with uh, uh, torque. These are the two formula. The first one is the case where when there is no angle, when there is no angle, we use F sine distance. If there is no angle, when there is angle, we use T equal FD sine theta. If you take root of these two formula, take root of these two formula. This is the formula we use for torque. This is the two formula we use for torque. This one is used in the case of angle. Why this one? Is without angle. Okay, this is all we have for this very aspect, and, and we can end our teaching 
at this point. Please don't forget to uh, like my page, Facebook page, DB Jumbo Online Mathematics, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, I, uh, Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial. Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial. All the best, all the best. Have a nice day. Okay.